family, 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 family. So anyway, guys, welcome. We have a great show planned here today. A really fun, a really fantastic show. Talking about MILF Manor, of course. I don't know how many of y'all have heard of this show, but it is taking the world by storm. When I saw the name, I knew I had to see it. A DILF? No, MILF Manor. Um, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know that it was like taking off because I now there's lots of people buzzing about it. But I said MILF Manor. You know that's going to be good. The premise of this show is, so it's a bunch of MILFs, quote unquote, older ladies, show up at a manor. What is a manor? Is, is that, does it include like some a, lordship? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if it's really a manor. It's probably more of a mansion. Bring in the MILFs. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to MILF Manor. It's mommy makeup. I mean, babe. does it take place uh, in the UK? No, it takes place in Calabasas. In mommy uh, makeup. In Mexico. Oh, yeah, Mexico, Mexico. In Mexico? Okay. Where incest laws are relaxed. No, just <laughs> kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome all no, to I, MILF Manor, announcing her lordship, Jezebel, big titty Jezebel the MILF. Mommy makeout day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, introducing Suzanne. Adult incest. Even bigger titties than the last MILF. MILF number two. Kaylee Water just said love. my husband's co-worker is on the show. <laughs> As the MILF or the bo or the men? Or the boys. They're really boys. Wait, let me just let me just tell you the premise of MILF Manor. Mm -hmm. So all these old old ladies, and they're old, I mean they're like 50 plus, um, show up to date younger guys. By the way, these MILFs, they're not even like rich. They're just like normal ass people. Because there's nothing there's nothing about being rich in, just in that acronym, that. baby. No, 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 no. No yeah. way. And so they introduced <laughs> the guys. Do you know the premise of this, Dan? I do. I so do. they introduce the guys, and the guys are all the sons of all the MILFs there. <laughs> it's so insane. It's so insane. And in the first episode, they had a competition where the MILFs had to feel up all the shirtless guys and identify which one was their son. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, and they were getting really touchy. With some of the what stuff. is going yeah. on, was, dude? Yeah, dude. Cool. And and I was like, okay, they're gonna feel everyone up. I was like, surely the sun's not gonna be in there. That's inappropriate. And then they're like, you have to identify which one of them is your son. Oh, bro. <laughs> Fuck your mom. The producer. Come on. The producers of that show need to be. We need a thorough background <laughs> check because you have to be a little bit fucked to, to imagine of something like that. Absurd. Absurd. So that's Milf Manor. We'll talk about that. Yeah. I haven't decided yet if it's a good show or not, but I'm watching. Advises mom's. Let's see, Milf Manor executive producer. Yeah, we need who's to. the we, madman behind? This? We need to find out who's the showrunner here. Yeah. Show who's a famous incest person? Is, <laughs> do they exist? Is there a famous incest person? Oh, Woody Allen, Woody produced Allen. by Woody Allen. Oh, <laughs> That's fucked up. Showrunner Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a step no, 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 no. Don't that was a that, stepdaughter. Though. This is worse. No, no, no. What he fucked his biological daughter too. He did both. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. He did both. Interesting guy that Woody Allen. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Milf Manor. So Milf Manor's on TLC. I'm finally learning. A deal. Finally, the Learning Channel has put out something educational. Milf Manor puts eight older women in a house with their young sons. They're in Mexico because the incest laws are more relaxed there. Adult incest. But they're not having sex with their kids. There's yeah, no there's no incest, incest going on on this show. No, yeah. It's not actually like... There's no uh, incest. Quick search. Incest. It's listed in a list of countries as legal in Mexico. Yo! Um, this is aye, 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 aye. Wikipedia. They're listed Straight countries. legal? Yeah, they just have a well. There's no nuance here. It just says legal. So there's probably more to it than that. But so theoretically, in Milf Manor, the mom can have sex with their own son. That's a crazy challenge. You gotta ride the dick and then decide which one's your son's. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We keep getting so sidetracked. It, it, does everybody? Did we even set up what the show is properly for people? That yeah. So familiar? Milf Manor, it's a show 
where these cougars or milfs or whatever come, who and they're all into younger guys. They like dating younger guys. Dilf? <clears throat> it's a dating show. And then they bring out all these younger guys. And when they come out, all the moms realize it's all of their sons are there to date all the other MILFs. Now, logistically, this must have been pretty crazy to set up. To find a son-mother combo who are, like, decent enough looking to be on TV. A lot of them are kind of busted, like the dudes. <laughs> I won't disrespect the moms like that. No, the moms are actually pretty for the most part. But some of the dudes are just, like, super weird and busted. Yeah. It seems like they all like the like, same one or two dudes. Well, yeah, one of the kids, the son of that blonde crazy lady. Yeah. He looks like he's 16. Yeah. Oh, God. That I was guy's like, going to be a serial killer for sure. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen someone in my life when someone's keeping eye contact with you and you move your head. He moves his head with you well, as you... he's talking. It's so weird. <laughs> also, you know he's so damaged by having her as Oh, yeah, that's definitely Wait, sh- pull up a picture of her son. You got to see how young this guy is. And these moms are supposed to try to be like this. I'm sorry, but if one of them f- sleeps with him, that's a fucking problem for me. He's 20 years old. <laughs> you gotta see this fucking picture, dude. And so, in the first episode, the moms play a game where they have to feel up all the shirtless dudes to try to pick which one is her son. So- and if they, she picks her son, they win the master bedroom or some shit. Look at them. Look at this guy. Oh. You're asking 50 year old women to sleep with this child. He is and a fucking the child. Fuck? The very first night in the house, his mom is trying to hook up with another guy in the room. Yeah. And telling him to stop cock fucking. So they, they share a room. <laughs> they are sharing a room, the mothers and the sons. And she's already on night one trying to fuck this dude. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Mom, no. Oh, another one, they did a truth or dare in season two. And one of the moms admit that she slept with his best friend. And this guy's like, he's gutted. He's like ready to end it all. Bro, this show is Wait, so which fucked kid? up. Which what kid? the fuck? So we, we don't want to spoil it, I don't think. Oh so my young. God. She slept oh, yeah. with uh, his best friend. And she's crying. I think she thought it would just be like funny and silly and cute. He's devastated. He's like in the pool. He won't get out of the pool. Yo. He wants to sleep. He's naked. He gets naked. He gets drunk and gets naked and goes in the pool. And she's like trying to talk to him. And then she goes home in her room and she's crying. It's fucking crazy. Bro. So this rocks. Oh, I'm yeah. very excited for episode two. That is episode two. Right, I, I still have to watch it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So, it's awesome, dude. And her name is So Young. She's a MILF, and her name is So Young. Too Young. Oh, yeah. How they, old they, they, they don't making, say So Young. They make So Young jokes, but it's Su Young. And I know that because of Rush Hour. They don't say Su Young. She says So Young. Okay. It's. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. How old are the moms? They're like... Uh, 50s to 60s. 50 plus. Yeah, 50 Bro, what plus. The fuck that? Isn't that kind of gross and weird? It's more like guilt like, like p wordy. Can you pull up a picture of the cast? Yeah, I have it in the doc. If, yeah, if you fuck this kid, it is kind of p Like, look at him. He's a child. It's very concerning that they made a show about this, I feel like. Well, yeah. That's why well, we're watching. I think yeah, all yeah, the yeah, guys yeah. are above 20, right? He's 20, and yeah. I think he's the youngest. I mean, but that's still a crazy age gap. They're all young 20s. 20. Yeah, it's like the Leo Leo vibes, where he just searches out young girls. Wait, can you can you find a picture of the cast? Yeah, it it was hard to find one of all the guys that's right <coughs> in this album. Leonardo DiCaprio. <coughs> this one, they actually they're like mega Photoshop. So if you scroll hard. down, the guy you the guys are in that album though. I like it's kind of hard to tell. This is so young. This is the lady who fucked the best friend. They actually they look good because they're like insanely Photoshop. You can tell. I mean, not that they don't look good, they're just old. With peace and love, of course. Baby, I need a, I need a jewel pot. Listen, MILF is the most, po- apparently one of the most popular search per- porn titles, so. People love the MILFs. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is great. So she's the craziest one. This is the woman who's trying to have sex the first night. And then the second night she goes on this date, this guy's Mexican, his, him and his mom are Mexican, and they're speaking Spanish together, and she starts freaking out like, no, nobody here speaks Spanish, you better, guys better speak English. And she gets drunk and starts getting crazy. Awesome. And it's very uncomfortable when this mom is in the sun, because she just looks like she has horrible sun damage, and that's all I can think about. She looks like the lady from Something About Mary, the old lady. Oh yeah. I'm like, please, just get this lady inside. She's 51. Here is Shannon, 51. 
What hold, what am I waiting for? Oh, they didn't they couldn't see? I can see it now. So yeah, this is the crazy lady uh who's trying to have sex with everybody. This is Shan. Oh wait, is it not working again? Please hold. Oh yeah, dude. One of the guys in this truth or dare one, this dude said, I've had a three, I've had a orgy with seven women. I was like, no, you no, haven't. Yeah, yeah. Such a fucking liar. Dude, I'm like, he thinks he sounds cool. He's just describing a gangbang. He got gangbanged if that's true. Like, <laughs> it, he goes, he goes, I did it for my girlfriend. This dude's like 20 years old and he's telling me he had a yeah. fucking liar. Where's your daddy? Here's Shannon. Stephanie, 47. She's the, of course, the spring chicken of the group. At 47. So young, bro. Just about your age. Look at her name. It says so young. Literally. 51. She was a hairstylist. Now she's a surgical nurse. There it is. So young. This lady is old as shit, bro. She's 60. She's 60 years old, and she looks like it. Um, in the show. She's a personal trainer? Okay. That's kind of crazy. She has not dated since her fiancé died last year. She kind Oops. of has a smoker's <laughs> voice, too, which adds another layer to it that's amazing. She is, like, wild. And then this was, of course, spring chicken territory. This is the Mexican one. 48 and she hates her this is the woman who's trying to get with her son and they fucking hate each other dude milf manor mm-hmm april 44 barely a milf charlene 46 so that's all of them huh yep do we have the sons uh it was in that album the original album i sent it was hard to find a picture of all of them together I had to nobody cares it. about the guys yeah Oh, is it this Imager album? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look at these dorks. Literally children. <laughs> Who's going to want to have sex with most of these guys? Like, these women are not going to have sex with these. Because they had to set it up with the kids and the moms. So their selection is not good. Like, a lot of these guys are just not fuckable at all. Especially for an older lady. This guy can't even look up. Yeah, it's crazy because like you could almost tell without knowing whose mom is who, like who they are based on how messed up the kids seem. Like you, you can tell who's. You gotta watch it to see, but the kids with the hornier moms are a little bit more messed up. It seems. Oh yeah. To be frank. And um, this is one of these shows. I just I I'm curious to see how bad it gets. And, like, is this going to be one of these shows that just, like, people look back and, like, I can't believe this existed? I think so. Or is it going to get season two? Because a lot of people are watching it. You know? I'm watching the shit out of it. I'm on IMDb looking at um, the executive producer's uh, previous reality shows. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, a lot of these are pretty big like iconic ones that people still talk about years later. So like what? Yeah, track record. Uh Rock of Love with Brett Hell Michaels. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh Trashy. He worked on Big Brother for a okay. while. Okay. Uh let's see. Uh I mean I'm skipping over a lot of there there's a ton on here, but I'm oh, New York Charm School with Ricky Lake. <laughs> and I vaguely Charm remember school. that. That was part of that whole era. It seems like all of those like really trashy VH1 ones from back in the day you had a hand in. So I'm anyway, I'm super into um super into this show. It's fucking weird, dude. I have a a screen cap from the date on the episode I'm trying to send right now. Yes, 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 yes. It's hard. It won't let me screen cap it. Oh, there's some fresh and fit news actually I wanted to talk about before we go. Fresh and Fit got walked out of Twitter for being the biggest dumbasses ever. Oh yeah, this is this is this uh, this is the Mexican dude, and this is <laughs> the girl that they're dating. I guess 
God damn. I, I couldn't see her like sitting at the end of a bar by herself, smoke, chain smoking. Maybe a casino in Las Vegas. She's sitting at the slot machines with the drink, <laughs> chain smoking. Oh, yeah. And then I just have one other screen cap I want to share. This is after the one uh, So Young son found out that uh, found out about his mom hooking up with one of his friends, and he shot like this Joker brain video. Oh, this is a uh, Travis Scott vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make it black and white, and it's spot on. <laughs> He's devastated, man. Oh, that's sad. <clears throat> yeah, but it's funny for me. I don't give a shit. You think he's more mad at his friend or his mom for that one? Mm, the world, I don't know. But she goes to him, she makes a good point. She goes, listen, I'm a woman too. I have needs. <laughs> you don't need to that. Make is that is a crazy excuse. She goes, listen, I'm a woman too. You know what I mean? You're not the only one trying to get some. <laughs> I think women, it's kind of sexist for him to be upset, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> we need the details. <laughs> yeah. A we punishment. Are we are men. A punishment for him should be that his mom gives the whole play-by-play, -play <laughs> and he has to listen to it. Oh God. Did they include him calling his friend or no? No. I wish. No. He didn't. Apparently, he doesn't know exactly who it was. There was like three people. There he, were three. No, oh, he, was, he didn't know of which ones exactly it was. There's I don't think he them. wanted to know. It would eat me alive, probably. Imagine this is a Dilf show with daughters, dads, and daughters. That would be fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's the... <laughs> yeah. That, does that say something? That yeah, when it's, you flip, it's all fuck. When you flip the genders, it suddenly, <laughs> like, really fucked. hits home just how fucking insane and fucked I up know, the I show is. I know, I hate that. I hate that, but it's true. Well, you know what they should do? They should need to have, like, you know how Bachelor and Bachelorette switch? Mm -hmm. They need to have the DILF and the MILF... DILF... Dilf what's Brems with DILF? DILF Doghouse. The DILF... Oh, the for, oh, for the, uh, the Dilf Dungeon. The, the Dilf Dungeon. <laughs> the Dilf Dungeon. Oh, no, that's a very different help. show. The Dilf Den. <laughs> that's a yeah. very different show. The Dilf Den. The Dungeon's not going to help. Somebody said Dilf Dwelling. The Dilf Dwelling. A Dilf? The Dilf Dwelling. The Dilf Dugout. Isn't it a little bit concerning, too, that the son of a older woman who likes younger kids likes older yes women, that's that what's so that weird like crazy. All, all of their so like, sons who have this hot mom all want to yeah. fuck older women like it's super yeah. weird that makes me it's, they should have called that this oedipus it, it, i don't like this show at all like i'm gonna say it weird. i'm gonna say it you think it's fake i think some of it's fake at yeah. least <gasps> Listen, I can because, say, no, as soon as you said that, it just up. clicked that that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's why they're also beat because they couldn't find good people. Because it's like, mm -hmm. how do you find two people in that relationship? They're all weird. With that exact same dynamic, and you hide it from all of them because none of them found no, out. I, I'll they say this. Up, right? I think they probably knew going in. Otherwise, I don't see any way they could have coordinated it. So they act surprised in the first season, but I think they knew. They'd have to. Yeah, they knew. They knew what the show was.